the Stokes theorem for this function integrated round the square in z equal to 0 plane whose sides are along the lines x equal to 0, y equal to 0, x equal to a and y equal to a. So this is your x-axis and y-axis and this is the line x equal to a and this is y equal to a. Let me take this point to be the origin and this point be a that is a comma 0 and this is B having the coordinates 0, comma, A and C is having the coordinates A, A. This is the line Y equal to 0 and this is X equal to 0. Now since this function is given to us, we need to verify the Stokes theorem for that. I am evaluating the dot product of F vector with DR vector. What is the Stokes theorem? It is the line integral of dot product of f vector with dr vector that is equal to the surface integral of curl of f vector dot product with n vector ds. So we are evaluating first this integral, right? This one. Let's check what value it is getting. And this value should be equal to this integral. Then only the Stokes theorem is verified. Alright, let's take the dot product of these two. So f vector is x square i plus x y j and its dot product with dr vector that is dx i plus dy j plus dz k. Taking the dot product we get x square dx plus x y dy. That's it. So when taking the line integral, we get the line integral over C and writing the dot product of these. So this is x squared dx plus xy dy. Because we have to integrate along the square, so the line integral is along OA and then AC and then CB and then back to origin, right? So that means we have to sum up the four integrals. The line integral over OA plus the line integral over AC plus the line integral over CB plus the line integral over BO. So let's first please mark this as 1. So first let's take the line integral along OA. Now along OA, Y is 0, right? And X varies from 0 to A. So along OA, Y is 0. Therefore, DY is also 0 and X varies from 0 to A. So this is the line integral of X square DX plus Y is 0. So this is 0 and the limits of X is from 0 to A. So this is equal to x cubed divided by 3 and the limits from 0 to a. That is equal to putting the upper limit we get a cubed divided by 3 minus putting the lower limit we get this to be 0. So this is a cubed by 3. Along ac x is equal to a right and y varies from 0 to a. The line x equal to a is parallel to the y axis so we are taking the limits of y now right. So x equal to a, therefore dx equal to 0 and y varies from 0 to a. So this is equal to the line integral of, okay, x is a but dx is 0, right? So first term becomes 0 and in the second term putting x equal to a and y dy, right? And the limits of y is from 0 to a. So this is equal to a into integration of y that is y square by 2 from 0 to a limits. So this is equal to a into putting the upper limit we get a square divided by 2 putting the lower limit we get this to be 0. So this is equal to a cubed divided by 2. Along cb y is equal to a right and x varies from a to 0. So along CB, Y is equal to A, 
Therefore, dy is equal to 0 and x varies from a to 0. So, this is equal to the line integral of, okay, x squared dx plus x into y is a here. So, writing here a, but dy is 0. So, second term becomes 0. So, the limits of x is from a to 0. The integration of x squared is x cubed divided by 3. And the limits from a to 0. So, this is equal to putting the upper limit we get 0 and putting the lower limit we get a cubed divided by 3. So, we are getting negative of a cubed divided by 3. And now along bo, along bo x equal to 0 and y varies from a to 0. So, along ba x is 0. Therefore, dx is also 0 and y varies from a to 0. So, this is equal to the line integral of dx is 0 and x is also 0. x is 0, dx is also 0, right? So, first term is 0 plus here also I am getting x but x is 0. So, this is also 0. Second term is also 0 and then dy and the limits of y is from a to 0. So, this integral is 0 as x is 0. So, let's put all these values in this first equation. In this equation, we are getting, okay, first value is a cube divided by 3 plus a cube divided by 2 minus a cube divided by 3 plus 0. So, these two cancelled out and we are getting this to be a cube divided by 2. Please mark this as 2. So, left hand side of the Stokes theorem is having the value a cube by 2. Let's evaluate the right hand side. That is the surface integral of curl of f vector dot product with n vector ds. So, to get this value, I'm evaluating the curl of f first. So, writing the first component of f vector that is which is given to us. It is x square and the second component is xy. So, writing here x square, this is xy and this is 0. I vector, partial derivative of 0 with respect to y is 0 minus partial derivative of this with respect to z. That is also 0 minus j vector. Partial derivative of 0 with respect to x is 0 minus partial derivative of this with respect to z is 0 again. Okay plus k vector, partial derivative of this with respect to x, okay, this is y, minus partial derivative of this with respect to y is 0. So, we are getting the value of curl of f to be y k vector, right? Next, we need to find n vector. Now, the unit vector is normal to the square and the square is in your x, y plane. So, the vector normal to xy plane is along the z-axis, yes. So, we are taking n vector to be equal to k vector. So, it is written, since unit vector is perpendicular to the square OACB, which is in your xy plane, so n vector is equal to k vector. It is along the z-axis, right? So, dot product of curl of f vector with n vector is equal to, what is curl of f vector? It is y k vector dot product with n vector is k vector. So, when taking the dot product, we are getting this to be dot product of k vector with k vector is 1. So, this is y. Now, taking the surface integral over this product, dot product, that is y and ds. So, this is further equal to the double integration of y, ds becomes dx dy, right? Because I am going to integrate this first with respect to x, so I am writing the limits of x. And the limits of x is from 0 to a and the limits of y is also from 0 to a. So, integrating this with respect to x first, we are getting xy. So, integration from 0 to a, this is xy with limits from 0 to a and here we are writing dy. Putting the upper limit for x, we get a y minus putting the lower limit we get this to be 0 and here writing dy 
So this is equal to the integration from 0 to a, a y dy. Taking a outside of this integral and integrating y with respect to y. So this is a into, okay, this is y square divided by 2 and the limits from 0 to a. So this is a into, putting the upper limit for y, it is a square divided by 2 minus, putting the lower limit, we get this to be 0. And we are getting the answer for this integral to be a cubed divided by 2. The same as that of the line integral, right? So we have found this value and that is equal to a cubed divided by 2. The same as that of this line integral. So both the left and right hand side of the Stokes theorem are equal. That is equal to a cubed divided by 2. Hence the Stokes theorem is verified as the line integral of f vector dot product with dr vector is equal to a cube divided by 2 that is also equal to the surface integral of curl of f vector taking its dot product with n vector ds so both these values are equal hence stokes theorem is verified okay thank you stay blessed